Good afternoon, fellow Nigerians. My name is Just Adito. So this afternoon, I stepped out and a little girl walked up to me and said to me that, uh, ah, Auntie, I saw your video that um, my mom was showing it to me that see your role model that she's supporting a rapist. <laughs> Please, I want to plead with you all. Um, one of the responsibility of every mother is to protect every child, regardless of whether that child is biologically yours or not. One person gives birth to a child, and it's the sole responsibility of the whole society to protect that child. And I belong to that school of practice, not only taught. Anybody who knows me knows that I speak the truth, and I stand for justice. Not in any way, not in any form, not now, not before, and not ever, Will I change my stand on protecting every child, regardless of your pedigree, your status, your age as a minor, or your person? My child can be in a position where she has a luxury of life, happiness, and tomorrow, Another child who never had the luxury of life or happiness can become greater than her. I take every child as mine. And by the grace of God, I pray that God will continue to give me the strength and the mantle to protect any child. Molestation, assault to any child, rape of any form is something I detest and I will never Compromise my stand on it. I once did a video concerning the case of Dr. Olaleye and Remy Olaleye when my attention was called to it. I lent my voice. I lent my support. Until this minute, I'm still fully loaded and charged. Anywhere where I see Dr. Lale, I don't they talk from day one. Somebody who cannot respect a feminine space. Somebody who cannot respect a woman. Not to now talk of a child. Should never be associated with me. Every woman, every mother deserves respect of any form. Love, protection, emotional support, mental support. Once you begin to indulge yourself or involve yourself in atrocities that are unseeable, then once you begin to question your mental health and stability and your sanity, I will not support a man who publicly displays private things. However, I would not also be used as an instrument or a bait for any selfish interest. If today my stand not to fight makes me weak, tomorrow my stand not to fight will surely bring victory. Just that it was a name, it's no longer a name that anybody can pass by. I have identified myself as a national treasure, as a blessing to myself and a blessing to my generation. I have never underestimated myself, neither have I ever underestimated my strength. Nothing cheeks me, nothing fears me. I fear nobody. But I respect people a lot. Every child deserves my respect, my protection, and my support. I don't know Dr. Laleye. And I don't ever want to be associated with such people. We have written, 
We have done our videos. And I want to plead with the Nigerian police. The whole strength, truth of this case lies on you. It's not all time that we have to start fighting or showing aggression or anything. We are not insane. We are mothers who can become agitated in the cause to protect our children. If the police fails to protect the common child, then it's such a spit and a shame onto the police system. The police system should never be compromised, never be bought, never, inf never be influenced in any situation, most importantly when it comes to the life of a child. I am not a coward. I speak for justice. I fight for justice. With my strength, my commitment, my love for my country, my family, and people who appreciate me. Anybody can run, you can hide, but not for too long. So please, I want the general public to kindly disassociate me with anything that has to do with child molestation or rape or victimization of any child. do me gone a bobo strategy strategy pe king kwati e go go enton pe dr laleyen o walk those of you that are backing him those of you that are supporting his immorality there's somebody above everybody and that is the person my trust my power and my strength lies on the almighty god But one thing is for sure, I've kept quiet for a few days because I've been pushing so hard. That justice must be served. When parents become irresponsible, when parents become greedy, when parents start to use children as a bait for their selfish interests, it's such a pity. I keep saying it. Anybody can be a woman. But it takes strength, commitment, pain to become a mother. Motherhood is not by leisure. Motherhood is not by at ease. It comes with a lot of pain. But when some people call themselves mothers, start to bring greed, affluence, influence, impersonation, blackmail into their journey, patience, the truth shall be revealed very soon. Dr. Lale, you can run for as long as you can. But the law will catch up on you very soon. Thank you all.